Orisha for me is the universe power, right? And uh, that's what it is. I think it's the essence that makes us understand that life in this world. You know, in, in Brazil, where I, I came from, you know, I normally say that this body born in Salvador by in Brazil. But when I start to really understand the picture of the world, I feel like I'm a part of the universe. And uh, through the Orisha, I learn much more about what that means. Like, because Orisha for me, for me is cosmic vibration. I think spirituality is something that you do as your life, is your breathing, right? This is the, your straight connection with the essence that have been divine with different aspects of religion or of beliefs or of system, right? And um, those symbols help us to uh, embody, like I say before, the aspect, the essence, because sometimes even if you are not a devotee of any religion, and talk about the Orisha, if you are not a devotee of the Candomblé religion, you can have symbols or related to some symbols that can make you understand the essence. The movement that symbolizes the essence of Oshun is the movement that represents the, the water, right? The building, the gold element. So when we come into the classroom, even if you don't know what Oshun is, but you know what water is. So water, water is the symbol, the universal symbol that connects people with the essence that inside of the Candomblé religion, we learn as Oshun.